Hey everybody, it's Dustin Eubner here from Electrician Information Resource. And this video, um, I want to try something new that I haven't done before and I think you guys will like it. So if you can imagine through my website, my YouTube channel, I get all kinds of questions about various different electrical topics and uh, I want to start bringing some answers to you through some videos. So there's four main topics on my website, learn electrical, electrician safety, electrician tools, and become an electrician. And I'm going to try to organize these questions into each one of those sections so that uh, it's all related and you guys can uh, find it quite a bit easier. So I'm going to be posting a link to the website in the description below and uh, I'll show you how to get there. So in today's video, I want to answer what to put on an electrician resume. This is a big question this month and uh, we're going to go over it. So stay tuned guys. Alright everyone, so this video here is going to go in my Become an Electrician section. So like I said, today we're going to talk about what to put on an electrician resume. So I know when I first started out, I really had no idea what to put on there. So um, I remember trying to apply for probably five to ten different electrical companies and it took over a year and a half, I think, to get a call back. And the main reason for that is there was a whole bunch of work in my town that came about and the electrical companies pretty much just needed any sort of help on these jobs. So that was my in. I was able to get into a company that was super busy and they didn't care if I had previous electrical experience. I just needed to come out and help and start learning. And if I could prove myself, they would indenture me and help me become a fully licensed electrician. So. That's what, uh, that's what happened. Basically from my experience, I think some good things to put on your resume would be you pay attention to detail. Detail as an electrician is huge. If you don't pay attention to detail, you could hook something up wrong, blow up a motor. I don't know, that's an extreme scenario. Hurt someone, that's another extreme scenario. But paying attention to detail is huge so that's a good point to put on there if you're becoming like an industrial electrician even a commercial electrician if you say that you're safety conscious and that's your number one focus is safety that'll help as well because that's going to show the employer hey this guy cares about safety he's not going to just cowboy stuff together and uh, hook stuff up and not really care right there's lots of procedures when you hook stuff up and a lot of procedures in place prior to turning a circuit on to make sure that everything is 100% working correctly before turning it on. So that's another good point. Um, you can work independently. A lot of the times you'll get a task where sometimes you're not working with anyone. You might just be alone in a building doing uh, a couple days worth of tasks, stuff like that. So working independently as well as working as a team member, that's a huge one because a lot of the times you'll be working with crews, large crews, small crews. Um, you might just have a journeyman that you're riding with. So working independently and as a team are good things to throw on your resume. So I'm trying to think of uh, some other things. But you know what? I'll make another video. So hopefully these tips help you. So main ones, safety, pay attention to detail and you can work as a team or independently those are some big ones on your resume that I throw on and try to elaborate on those four points with your own personal experience so I hope this video was helpful I'm gonna be posting a link to the website in the description below um, I actually have an entire electrician resume article on my website so you can check that out as it has way more details than what's in this video. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your feedback in the comments below.